I don't want to do it. You do it. All right, welcome to the Comedy Lottery, everybody. Woo! My name is Demetrius Fields. I'm Austin Law. And today we're joined by James Mora, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. You guys know how this works. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They're then going to be rated on a scale of one through ten by this panel of judges right here. The three comedians with the highest scores at the end of the night are going to do one final joke, and then you, yes, you, the audience, is going to decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. The comedy lottery jackpot is all of the money that comedians use to sign up for the show and half of the ticket sales. Austin, how much are we looking at tonight? $141. Whoa! <laughs> 141 smackaroos, baby. In my hand and soon in one of your hands. All right. Hell yeah. All right. So we're going to be lighting you from over here on the stage, just so you know. I forgot to do that. Uh, but we'd like to have our winner of last week come back, do a whole new three minutes, and then we can see who can get the longest streaks of wins right now. It's Jay Turner. He's got two in a row, but it could be tied. So without further ado, put your hands together for Jessica Silver, everybody. <laughs> Hey guys, so I was going out on a date last week, right? And I told my grandma, and she had some advice for me. She goes, don't let him hold your hand. He'll get the wrong idea. So this guy's walking me home. He goes in for the hand. I'm like, okay, mister. <laughs> Not tonight, I'm a lady. And then I took him upstairs and I fucked the shit out of him. <laughs> little bitch was squealing <laughs> next day my Grammy calls to ask how the date went I was like don't worry Grammy I took your advice we only did anal <laughs> so I was dating this old guy for a while and uh, thank you and I was when we met I was like I think you're very handsome and he was so cute he goes what <laughs> he liked it when I called him daddy in bed that felt wrong. So then I started calling him Grandpa. Thank you. His, uh, his apartment smelled like mothballs, which I'll admit, way better than moth pussy. He could only get hard if we listened to Neil Diamond. Every, every single time. It'd be like, sweet Caroline. He'd go, uh, uh, uh. It was so good, so good, so good for me. I told my mom about him. She goes, he's so old, you're going to have to change his diaper soon. I'm like, well, you keep telling me to have a baby. I'm already breastfeeding him. My dad actually started wearing diapers when he was in his 50s. He didn't need them. He just wanted to wear them. He's like, this is great. I just peed in Baskin Robbins. They don't even have a bathroom. I wish, I wish my dreams were as simple as that, you know? Just shit in my pants at Home Depot. One time we were at Whole Foods, and I was like, Dad, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. He's like, hey, did you see they're having a sale on cantaloupes? I'm like, yeah. You just took a dump next to them. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Yes! Woo! Keep it, keep it going for your winner, guys. Woo! She fucks old dudes, I'm pretty sure. How old are we talking before we begin? Um, like mid-50s. Yeah, that's pretty fucking old. How old are you? <laughs> 34. Okay, that's an that's a, a unseemly age gap. I don't stand for yeah. that one bit. Yeah. You're doing pretty good for a white. Thank it's you. not bad. Yeah. It's not usually 34 that start looking. He gets fucked up a little bit, but you're doing pretty good. Do you moisturize? Do I moisturize? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, just asking. So, have you ever tried the cantaloupes at Home Depot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're always in season. All right. <laughs> It uh, matches their color. It's orange. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can get a glizzy there. That shit's good. Yo. Uh, I like glizzy it. means hot dog, right? Huh? It, it can be a hot dog or a gun. 
or a gun? Oh. Yes. That's, what if, that two seems very, like it's two very different. Yeah. It's rife for miscommunication there. <laughs> uh, hey, either way, I keep that thing on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's got a loose hot dog in his pocket. Is what he's saying, guys. Yeah, that's what I keep telling you every time we hug. Uh, that's a boner joke. But this yeah. is what we're doing here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Orange is the color of Home Depot and cantaloupes, and he has a boner. Are you guys listening? <laughs> Who's God, paying man. attention? We're comedic geniuses <laughs> over yes. here, man. You had a good set. Thank you for coming. Thank you. What'd, yeah. you, what'd you think of what we just said? It's good, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, rank that on a scale of one yeah. through ten. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure out how to work that in. Yeah, yeah. I think we're doing good feedback here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't really even know. So you had a good opener. You're good at comedy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I have some notes. I think. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be mean about it. I just feel like you didn't tell us how old the guy was, so I was confused in your story. Okay. <laughs> I think if you like give him like a name and an age, you know, just like maybe a short bio, whatever you can find in a Tinder setup. I what think war he, he fought in? Yeah. <laughs> some sort of detail to just paint a picture of him, because uh, I just didn't have it in my brain. I was like, what is older, older? You know okay. what I mean? All right, all right. Yeah. How did you meet this 54-year-old? Um, Doing stand-up comedy. Oh. oh, no. Did he approach you after you performed? No, no, I actually did. Whoa, after he performed? Yeah. Oh, okay. No further questions. Um, <laughs> it all makes perfect sense. No, I, the, the picture is clear. <laughs> it's never happened before. It's almost always the other way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought I liked uh, I like your delivery a lot. I think you're very, very polished, very fun. I think there were some jokes that were a little bit low hanging fruit, like the, the old guy like saying what? It's okay. like, oh, come on. We could do a little bit better than that. Moth pussy made me laugh. I, like I thought that a it lot. was fun. Moth balls. Uh, oh, and good. I think Sweet Caroline, I think, is like funnier, but it plays probably to a bigger room than this. I, I would imagine like if this was like a way bigger room full of like, you know, like drunk white people, you just just living out their golden years. That shit right. would have fucking banged, boy. That shit yeah. would have been fire. Like your, it does work better like your man. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. I mean, is he a comedian? We would know. Maybe. So I'm, what's yeah, his what's his I'm, name? Uh, Definitely not gonna tell you. First that. letter, New York. <laughs> here in New York, I assume. Yeah. Give oh, us a slur yeah. he says on stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Yeah. So uncomfortable. Can I can I do a roast of you instead? Yeah, yeah. roast him. Get him, dude. Yeah, please hit me. You 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 really confuse me because I can't tell if <laughs> if you look more. <laughs> I can't decide if you look more like Beavis or Butthead. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nice. Yo, clap back. You're going to take it from that retired witch? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take that from her, dude? <laughs> From this, from this middle school yoga teacher? No thank you. No thank Dude. you, dog. She got a shoebox in her garage that's just labeled crystal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you have Halloween decorations up 24-7, don't you? Maybe. No, they didn't like that? Okay, fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was It was a little, don't do my witch thing. Try a new Fuck. thing. You gotta do I'm a new I'm thing. trying to do you all, all the time. I'm like, what would Demetrius say in this setting? Mm, uh, I don't know. Fry, I, you, you look like you do a new art gala every time you get dumped. You, does that make, is art that too gala? specific? Damn. Yeah, all right, never mind. That's bad. Well, now you win. <laughs> so make sure. Yeah, you, you defeated us. Uh, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm. <laughs> Based on this tally mark you have on yeah, your Yeah, I have sheet. a proprietary system here. Um, so, I, you know, I was w I was confused by the older guy thing because mm -hmm. you're a good-looking person. Thank um, you. So I assumed it was for, like, for, for the money. Okay. And then you said he's a comic, and yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, it's not for the money. Uh, you're just, uh, you might maybe just have low self-esteem. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I got so I got three big laughs in the beginning, three little laughs in the end, and then you roasted Austin. So, uh, am I giving a score now? If you, you want, want it, it, yeah, yeah, we can. We've been doing because that's kind of the while. that's kind of the idea of the yeah, yeah. Hit him, hit her with a score. That's kind of the p yeah, point five of, is average. It's point like of the show. Curve. So I'm gonna give you a uh, a six. Whoa, six. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go seven. You're gonna go seven. I'm cutting yeah. it in the middle. I'm going six point five. I thought it was great. It's not easy to open up the show. It is you not. Know? Right. So make some noise for Jessica Thank Silver, hey. our yeah. champion yeah. of the past. Hell yeah! Are you ready for our first bucket pull of the night? Hell yeah, put your hands together right now for Suhail Mufara, everybody! How y'all doing tonight? Give your hand, you guys a round of applause for coming out and for these awesome hosts. Yes. You guys heard it, my name is Suhail. I'm sure you're wondering, you're all asking in your, in your little heads, where, what is he? What could he be? 
I'm Lebanese. I'm Arabic. Any Arabs in the crowd? Don't believe him, but I love the support. Amazing. <laughs> Free Palestine and the watermelon emoji, or you know, whatever they do. Uh, no, I'm Lebanese. Yeah, I'm Arabic. It's 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 an interesting interesting time to be that. I'm sure you guys have read our our country in the headline or my country in the headlines. I say our country. I just I feel the camaraderie, you know. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, being Lebanese is interesting as a comic as well. Like, a lot of people will always approach me and they'll, they'll ask me, you know, a very common question I get is like, well, do your, do your parents support your comedy career? Because uh, it's a fair question because most don't, you know? But, uh, but mine, uh, mine do, guys, and it's the worst. <laughs> uh, really, it's the worst, guys. I, I couldn't, it couldn't have it worse because both my parents... They're results-oriented people, like my dad already. You know, the brown people are like, oh, you know. My dad, engineer. My mom, teacher. So when I call them on WhatsApp, my dad, he'll be like, especially, he'll be like, so hey, your mother and I are so proud of you for pursuing your comedy career against all odds. <laughs> Tell us a joke right now. Make us laugh. Now. We are sad. Uh, and then I do a joke. And it bombs. And it's just followed with my dad going, ah, on the phone. And guys, I don't know if you have ever bombed on an international WhatsApp call across the Atlantic Ocean, uh, but it's humbling, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I just wish they disowned me. <laughs> That'd be so much easier. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? It's very interesting, uh, like, you know, as, as an Arabic person, maybe this is just a canon event for just me, right? But is there anyone else in this room who has a religious uncle who's more afraid of uh, Israel than God? <laughs> no, just me? Cool. <laughs> And this guy that I, I, I want to believe really hard. <sighs> hell yeah, hell yeah. I love it. No, it's just like, it, it's a really canon event to be a Lebanese guy and you're at a funeral and uncles of yours are like listing like different Jewish conspiracies that like you've never even heard before. Like my uncle will come up to me and be like, So hey, it's a shame what Zay did to Kobe Bryant. <laughs> what? We've, we've, we've moved past banks. We're on to Kobe now, right? It's crazy. Anyways, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Get up for your host. Guys, keep it going for him. They killed Kobe. That's what I heard. Um, he bombs on WhatsApp calls. Don't know what that's like. I always kill on WhatsApp calls. Yeah, Whenever usually I... <laughs> when Lebanese people are bombing over devices, yeah. it's a pager. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. There it is. <laughs> what joke do you tell your dad when he asks you to tell him a joke? It depends. It varies. It, so this happens a lot? It just does, sadly. That, yeah. He hasn't learned his lesson. Well, he's just like into like puns. He just like loves like <laughs> dirty, horrible puns. Wait, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> that's cool. He wants like what, like three blondes walked into a bar. Type yeah, jokes. he'll send me yeah. those and he'll be like, so hey, you can use these. these are, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll unironically say, these are from the public domain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these are from Facebook, Dad. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's funny. My dad will send. My dad watches the show every week. Shout out, Dad. And uh, he'll send me your guys' jokes and be like, "Hey, you should do something like this." And I'm like, "I can't. I'm right next to them. I can't just take it." <laughs> so yeah. Say hi to my dad. Hello, uh, Austin's dad. Your dad's. Oh, he's here. No, he's, he watches the live stream. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Send gotcha, me gotcha, some gotcha. money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> be good to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is your dad proud of you for o owning a small business? Yeah, he is really yeah. proud of me. Actually, That's awesome. yeah. That's what's up. And I'm only saying that because he's watching this right now. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's beautiful. His um, dad's a magician. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't expect anything. Your dad's a magician? Dude. When my, dad, uh, my dad does a lot of things. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he makes moves. Uh, yeah, yeah. My dad has undiagnosed autism. So. <laughs> yeah. He claims he just really loves planes. And I'm like, no one knows every model ever whenever we board it. He's like, this is the 777 Sohail. They have only one floor. I'm like, I don't need to know that. <laughs> Yo, I think uh, one thing about your set, I think that in the first joke, at least, you were leaning too hard on the accent. For, like, the accent was the thing that was funny. When you were talking about like the bombing thing, I wanted it to be a little bit more punchy because people were just laughing because they 
hear accent. You don't want you don't want that situation. I think Jewish conspiracy theory. If you're gonna make the the joke, we went from Kobe to Banks. We went from <laughs> Banks to Bank shot. Yeah, something. Can we go? Maybe go a little bit farther. He's like your dad. He's like do the pun. Do the pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, and I think it took a little like too long to get like started. You were just talking about how you were Lebanese, and you went to the audience to find like other Arabs. You were like probably 35, 45 seconds into your set before you started going into your material, and I feel like you just gotta like make people like you quicker. Just boom, you got confidence while you're up on stage, which yes. is good. So I like your uh, I like your confidence. I like the way you, you handle it. Just yeah. Hell do you yeah. moisturize? <laughs> I, I actually do now. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Just date one black woman, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna find out. <laughs> your, your dad's bring like, her in. Bring her in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, your, your dad's like, that's my boy right there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I I agree with my light skinned br uh, brother over here to my right. Um, I think it, I think it was a good set. It, like again, my proprietary system is just uh, little laughs and big laughs. So I had four big laughs and three little laughs. Um, also, I should disclose. How do we know each other again? Or did you? Oh, uh, he used to have sex with my sister in law. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jealous. Wait, no, you're not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your brother's wife? No, it's really weird. Uh, <laughs> My wa my sister's brother has your a sister's brother. My my sister's <laughs> husband oh, right. has a brother, uh, and he has a wife, and she has a sister, and he dated that sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, was it? How did so, it end? Dude. Uh, it, she yeah. uh, <laughs> no, that's she, how she cheated. On, it's more convoluted than like she, Arab she family. cheated on she cheated on me. <laughs> but but the the joke I made out of it got got seven million views on Instagram. Whoa, that's, that's worth it. Like that's million. worth it right so, there. Uh, you won that. So uh, someone so, yeah, that a gift. I'm gonna give you, know? you um so I'm gonna give you a seven. Whoa. Wow. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little boost due to the 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 sex stuff we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get back his cousin? <laughs> you trying to get her back? It, Nice. Uh, I'm still down. Um, yeah. I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going to go four. <laughs> Whoa. Because I, I just feel like could have punched it up, could have got to the funny faster, and uh, it was a little heavy on the accent. But delivery was good. I'm conflicted because on one hand, I have not fucked her cousin. On the other hand, I kind of like you. So uh, six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, six. we're here on the leaderboard, so make some noise for Suhail. Give it up there. for him, everybody. Hell yeah. Are you ready for our second bu bucket pull of the night? Yeah. All right, make some noise for Julie, everybody. Yeah. Keep it going for her until she gets to the stage. Yeah. Just go crazy. I have never met anybody more naive than my Albanian mother. <laughs> Grew up in an Albanian family on the island of Staten Island. And, uh, you know, my extended family kept themselves afloat through the family business. And as a kid, I never really knew what the family business was, but I did know it was cash only. <laughs> and for the longest time, I thought my uncle Kenny was a professional tennis player because I kept hearing the word racketeering. <laughs> but you know, my mom, she didn't want me to grow up around that, so she moved me to Chicago. Yeah. And she was like, oh, look at all the successful people, Julie. You see, when you grow up, this is how naive my mom is. When you grow up in a town called Elsbon, Albania, you think anybody with a receding hairline and a tie is successful. <laughs> and there was one man in particular, Mr. Wolf. He worked in finance, ran a pizza shop, and he hosted my sweet 16. Okay? And this is how naive my mother was. I remember we were all standing by the food, and I see Mr. Wolf handing out these little white baggies to the parents. And I asked him, I was like, Mr. Wolf, what is that? He was like, uh, it's Parmesan cheese. <laughs> My mom believed it was Parmesan cheese. I believed it was Parmesan cheese. Till I saw my friend's mom do a line and start talking a mile a minute. 
And that's when I was like, oh, this isn't cheese. It's cocaine. <laughs> and I was so pissed. I ran to my mother and I was like, mom, how could you do this to me? You have a drug lord running my birth, hosting my birthday. And she like pulls me aside and she's like, Julie, no, there's no way a man can work in finance, run a pizza restaurant, and do cocaine. It's like she's never heard of the financial district. All right, that's my time. Yeah, Julie. Hell yeah, that was nice. fun, man. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was good. Good. Uh, oh, okay. Damn, yeah. I, I wish I could hear oh, the ending of it now. Well, it was only two minutes and 15 seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two, well, good to know. Yeah, yeah. Lights coming you at left a, us wanting a minute more. left, by the way, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I like the racketeering joke a lot because it's funny to imagine guys saying the word racketeering while they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Because you may, like, you know, like, yeah, I'm robbing people. Yeah, hey, guys, I've been racketeering a lot recently. <laughs> oh, why am I so sweaty? A lot of racketeering today, you know? <laughs> It is a very whimsical term for something pretty serious. What is racket? I have no idea. So it encompasses a lot of crime. Got it. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. It means you're, it means you're like a like a master, like a like a organized criminal, yes. basically. Oh, organized crime. That's cool. It could be yeah. drugs, theft, all of Got it. Got it. Yeah. Very cool. Um, what do you think, Demetrius? <laughs> I, I realized it, was, it seemed like I was going to say something there. I was going to say, you're definitely dressed like an Albanian lawyer. <laughs> you're trying to get these dudes yeah. off, dude. Yeah. I love that. Fuck, that's fire, bro. That is. Thank you. Who do you get that from? Cedric the Entertainer? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I like your storytelling. I wish I could. Uh, I, I feel like I do want to hear like the mm -hmm. rest of it. So it wasn't like perfect for like a three minutes, but it was definitely yeah. entertaining. And it was definitely fun. I was captivated the whole time. It yeah, for real. They're yeah. super engaging. Like I was yeah. like really like hanging. I was like, damn, where's this going? You know? Yeah. yeah. They. I'm a storyteller, not like a short. But I'm trying. Yeah. No, it's, you did a good job. I, I was trying picture. to turn a story into a bit, and it. I think clearly, you. I think I you did, did okay. a good job. I was pretty happy with it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So you, just like that's your feedback right there. Guys. Was Albania? Yeah. Do it. Was Albania part of the Soviet Union? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I literally know nothing. Well, I know more about being Jewish than I do Albanian. I can okay. recite the Torah, but I know nothing about being Albanian. Dude, it's funny to be mad at the guy who brought Coke to the party because <laughs> you don't even know he's making it so much better. Like, he's <laughs> making it so much better. Uh, makes me wish you knew the other half of the joke. <laughs> Just huh? give me a high give score a... and I'll finish it. Um, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you got any notes? That's judge intimidation. That might be a minus point. Right okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. intimidate a lot of people. Calm down. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. People tell me I they, I scare them all the time. And I literally Are you doing racketeering scared? near them? No. <laughs> I hear a racketing dog. Hmm. Hmm. Who's scared of you? I don't I'm not scared of I'm you. I'm good. Good. I feel like yeah. you're great. Thank you. Are you guys scared of her? No. Oh. <laughs> I guess if you were scared of her, you wouldn't respond at all. Yeah, so. that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I'm gonna. Uh, oh, you go. No, you go first. You go first. I I liked it. Very engaging. Definitely not a lot of punchlines, but I liked what you had, and I was on board the whole time. So seven point five. Hell yes. yeah. So missing the punchlines noted. No, but it was like in exchange for like engagement, which I think is very important. Okay. Yeah, seven point five. No, both Thanks. things are good. I think I'm gonna go just a little under. I'm gonna go six point five. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna split the dip. I think you were you were cooking for a second, but you did go 45 seconds under, and which mm. is fair. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a seven. All Kay. right, gonna give you a seven. All right, well you're on the later board, so make some noise for Julia. Give it up for Julia. Oh yeah. Julie. Long live Albania. Top of Julie, the board. Sorry. All right, you guys ready Get for your Julie. next bucket pull of the night? Hell yeah! Put your hands together right now for Riley Suarez, everybody. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Uh, you probably wonder why I talk like this. I, I, I intimidate people a lot because of my size. And I have to talk like this so I can ch change my presence to people. Um, and you're probably thinking, rather just be yourself. Well, if I was myself, and me being myself has caused me to be big erected over a dozen times. So I got to try this. Because um, when I walk down the street... You know, people get scared of me. And when I see people who are scared of me, I get sad. Because I just want a friend. All I want is a friend. 
The L train sucks. I hate it so much. Because I look like I sound like Joey Diaz. Sober. It, it, it hurts. You know? And it's not fair. Also, I can't really do this voice this long. It's, it's really hard. You know how long it... You know how hard it is to sound like a Care Bear? Really fucking hard. But now I realize talking like this, uh, like this, is also kind of scary. But imagine you're a pedophile. And you hear this voice. And you think it's a supple 10-year-old boy from a Disney movie. Or Butters from South Park. And you message the little boy, supper from a Disney movie. And you send maybe like two dick pics, which is a lot. Never should be more than one. Should never be even be one, you know. I'm a 10 year old boy from a Disney movie. And, and you know, it's crazy, you know. And you, you try to meet this little 10 year old boy. Then you, all you just see is... Yo, what the fuck you doing, bruh? What's wrong with you? I'm the next Chris Hansen. I don't even need a decoy. Fuck a decoy. I am the decoy. <coughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> while I have some time left, uh, as you can tell my, by my voice acting prowess, I can do voices, and I would like to display a little thing. Um, if you ever thought about fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you know you can never fuck Arnold Schwarzenegger because the inevitability that he will die. Am I the guy for you? Because if you want to ever fuck him, I can say things romantically. Like, your skin is as soft as a cloud on a summer day. If you want dirty? Your pussies taste so good. Like air. Uh. If you ever wanted him to sound, if you ever wanted him to talk like being broke back mountain. I wish I knew how to quit you. Uh. That's my time. Thank you very much. I've been Riley Suarez. Guys, give it up for Riley Suarez. Let him hear it. Thank you. Thank you. R Riley, tell us about your childhood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. What no, do you no, want to know? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We don't want to know anything. <laughs> no, sorry. Do you know what it's like to have a dad <laughs> who's never there, okay. but also your mom divorced your stepdad? Okay, now I'm siding with Austin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was the one who laughed at your stuff earlier. <laughs> oh, was that you? That was, I, yes, my name is Riley, dog. Oh, shit. Who else is here named Riley? Don't do more material. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to clarify for the room. Was your name Riley? Why? You liar! Sorry, sorry, it, sorry. It sorry. feels like he really let the voices in his head do the whole set that time. Actually, no, I, I wrote that. I wrote that. <laughs> I really wrote that. It's on, like, I wrote it in my notebook with that in mind of, like, I'm going to do this fucking voice because it's really fucking funny. Mm. How many times have you done it before tonight? What, the voice? Yeah. How many times have you done that bit? Oh, I wrote it today. <laughs> well, that specific so, thing. So, so you're like, I'm gonna win this competition with some new shit. You know? <laughs> no, it's not new I, shit. I, I, those I, are I, those I, are some of those like jokes and tags are like been in there, and I've been doing okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger voice since I was five years old. Because mm. I watched term, I watched uh, Total Recall at five years old. Thanks, Dad. Arnold Schwarzenegger's in Total Recall. The original one, you fucking uh, bitch. Sorry, you're right. My bad on that. Bro, that shit was ass. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 bro. Dog, real I don't want to hear it, Why? bro. As many times as I heard Why? you bomb, I did pretty okay. I feel like today more. Yeah, that's what these people know happened. I, Watch what, the tapes. Watch the tapes, bro. What the fuck was that shit? Made me uncomfortable. At first, I was like, haha, but then it just kept fucking going for that's forever. That's part of the bit. They did work. <laughs> also, you like? Bit. I finished oh. it at. Two, like, it was only like a minute and a half. Two I'm minutes. looking at the clock, and it was three minutes of that shit, bro. That two shit minutes. Was it was two minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I finished that first part. The second Ar part was argue, totally arguing different. is crazy. Arguing is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because I know this motherfucker. <laughs> to fully argue? Yeah. God damn, bro. Nah. Yeah, that, no. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Yeah. It's okay. You, you can't, no. Why can't, why can't I be me? 
You know, <laughs> that's you. That's you. Yeah, I wrote this shit with that in mind. I knew. You know, I when I wrote it, I knew Demetrius was gonna be like, "This shit sucks." I already knew it. So that's the why I am like, the guy I'm trying to impress is gonna hate this. Let's do it. Is what he said before this. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's valid. Uh, yeah. I love and respect you, Demetrius. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that made me made me scared. That, I, scared the whole time. I was. A little terrified. Why do you think I brought that up? I literally wrote that part at the end where it was like, actually, this is kind of terrifying. I wrote that in mind because I, kn <laughs> I knew. Oh, yeah. From my the, bad. I didn't realize you were playing 4D chess. <laughs> I was playing 4D Sorry, chess. I wasn't familiar with your <laughs> game. I didn't in think you were a move ahead. <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10. What are you talking about? Dude, that did not. It was. Don't do that anymore. Yeah. That no. Was, I'm going to do it. They, they, people laughed. People who didn't laugh don't have to watch me ever do comedy. I don't care. All right. Well, you you know what? <laughs> you know what? Keep. I like delusion. I think that it's important. No, I'm not delusional. I'm schizophrenic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't like. I don't like that I'm the one sitting close to him right now. Huh? Demetrius. I mean, oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. I don't what really do you... have any notes other than no. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Simon Cowell. <laughs> Why are nice. you so sassy? I had caffeine. Okay, so I, what, what's your score, though? Huh? No, you can talk first, because okay. if I say it, then he's going to get defensive about that, and then I we got to do that. Okay, you know what I, I already knew say? you were going to hate it. I don't care. You know what I will say? I, I, was, I was kind of on board with the, the weirdness of it, and I could feel the tension building and building and building. We, and, and uh, you know, a good joke does build a lot of tension, but then typically it is released. <laughs> And, mm. I, and I and I I didn't feel many of the releases, mm. uh, but mm. the tension was there. Mm. Riley, you don't release enough. Um, it kind of felt I like take SSRIs, yeah. dog. It kind of felt like it, you know what it felt like. It felt like if you were, like if if you were making eye contact with someone from across the bar for like the whole night, and then. And, and then <laughs> rather than flirting, they just ended up being a creep. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's funny for you to assume that I would like look at somebody from across the bar. No. No, that's not what he was saying. It was, <laughs> it was an it analogy. Was, it, it an analogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, yeah. But still. Like, like if. Dude. So I'm going to give my score. I'm going to give a 3.5. Fuck yeah. Dude. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna Fuck go, yeah. I'm going to go three. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Guys, Riley Suarez. I, yeah. Give him some noise. I, I, Let him hear it as he leaves. Release yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. All right. Are you Who's, guys ready to go back to the bucket? Get some more comedy going? Yeah. Comedian oh, number yeah. five of the night. Make some noise. Let him hear it. Make some noise for Jeffrey Keller, everybody. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? I, uh, a little about me, I have a, I have a degree in musical theater, uh, which is crazy because I look like I'm trying to sell you cocaine, dude. <laughs> uh, no, something that comes along with that is I do musicals for work, uh, so all my best friends are gay because I do musicals for work, you know? And this happened to me this week. I couldn't wait to tell people about it. I was texting one of my best buddies, and he's gay, and he was like, Jeffrey, I was on Grindr the other day, and I was like, you're on it every day, but go ahead, you know? <laughs> and he was like, I matched with this guy, and I invited him over to have sex, but it was my first trans man. I matched with my first trans man, and he hadn't had bottom surgery yet, so I had sex with his vagina. That's what he said. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very progressive guy. I just never thought I'd see those words in that order on my phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> But dude, now it's great, because now my gay best friend is texting me like, dude, pussy is awesome, actually. Dude, maybe it's a choice, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I will say, it, it is very sweet watching him go through this, because he's, he's my best friend, and he's very worried about pleasing this man, and he doesn't know how, you know? And every day he's freaking out, he's texting me, he's like, Jeffrey, I don't know what to do, how do you eat pussy, where's the clit, you know? <laughs> and every day I just have to calm him down, I'm like, dude, don't worry about it, you're gonna be fine, it doesn't exist, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's chill. It's all part of the liberal agenda. So, <laughs> yeah. I will say, though, he's, uh, <laughs> this is going to bomb, but I'm going to do it. Dude, <laughs> he's one of my best friends. I've seen this dude talk before. He's going to please that vagina better than I ever could, dog. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Because <laughs> here's the thing. What I got going on, it's good. Shut up. <laughs> it's, it's fine, you know? Because just like a time you learn, it's fine. Does that make sense? 
Okay, like, here, oh, shut up, dude. Okay, here's the thing. I've never bought Magnum condoms, and trust me, I never will, you know? <laughs> but there was this one time in college, I was having sex with this girl, and I was like, hey, do you have a condom? And she's like, check the dresser. And I checked the dresser, and there was only one Magnum condom. And I was like, hey, you only have one Magnum. And she was like, yeah, but it's one size fits all. And I was like, yeah, but not like that, though, you know? And, and dude, here's the thing. I put it on, and it stayed. But barely, you know? <laughs> I was like, I was like pulling out, but it was kind of staying in a little bit, dude. The whole time I'm trying to fuck the condom back on to my penis. <laughs> Have you ever seen a girl with a crop top because she like tied it up on the side? That's what I had to do with the side of the condom, dude. Just had to tie it off like a little fucking balloon. <laughs> the whole time she's like, it's so deep, it's so deep. I'm like, yeah, it's deep in there. I'll get it though, I'll find it. I'll get it out. Give me a pair of chopsticks, I'll get it out. Magnum condom's like an airport outlet. Like, it works, but it's loose. You know what I mean? Thank you guys so much. I'm Jeffrey Keller. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, Jeffrey Keller, dude. The first right-wing musical theater guy I've ever met. Bro, that's crazy. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I don't. Bro. I do musicals. I'm not right-wing. I'm just... Sure. Uh, I just look like a dickhead. No, dude. That was so... Because yeah. you said you did musical theater, so I was like, okay. And then you started... Yeah. You, you did that hip stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. He, yeah. Those pants are These loose. These hips not, don't lie, bro. Yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> that, those are professional hips. <laughs> bro, I have no doubt, dude. Yeah. That's... Dude. It's, it's so impressive that you got those jokes to work in Brooklyn. I was a little bit worried. No, about like it. the fact, like when that's a huge <laughs> testament to like <laughs> you, you as a guy. Like I appreciate I, that. If with you, a Callaway hat on, no, no yeah, less. With a big Bertha hat on the side. What is, what is Callaway? It's a golf. It's a, it's golf, a golf brand. brand. Got it. Oh, it's wait, just cool. how how could I be any more white? You know. Oh wait, I mean? understood. Yeah. 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 No, I mean it is really impressive to be like if you had told me that joke before and I'd be like, yeah, don't do that yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah. you fucking that killed, dude. That was so fucking funny. Yeah, seriously, very impressive. Looking the way that you look. Yeah, exactly. He looks like a Nelk boy. You know what I mean? You got a fucking mother on right now. This is. This is kind of inside baseball for crowd, but you guys will get it. It's like whenever I have, I walk a lot of like, literally all my best friends are gay. That's like part of my life. So whenever I have a joke that walks a line, I try it out in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, so, totally. I mean, yeah. dude, it's fucking hey, the, working. The, like the honestly, people of color were laughing. I was looking. Yeah. I was looking. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. How can you see them? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I dance. I tap dance for work. So <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I can do it right now. It's dude. actually really good. <laughs> you, you just lost four points. You just lost. Four points. <laughs> that is so funny. That is the out though, dude. Yeah. Wait. So you're like you're straight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're in theater. Yeah. That must be awesome. <laughs> Dude, this be so cool. I'm scared of straight motherfuckers yeah. in theater. You are. Yeah. You, this is a toxic dude. Right no, now. for real, dude. This is, dude, because he matches with girls on Hinge and they're like, cool, he has a fish and he's on a boat. I know how to deal with this. And then he shows up sassier than them. Like, <laughs> no way, dude. Bro, this man can samba dance, dog. <laughs> Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm from South Florida. I started here, which was. A mistake. Um, <laughs> I've been doing it uh, like uh, three years. Not three years? And yeah. what kind of, so are you actively a, like a professional music? That's what I do for work. Yeah. That's really cool. So what Where? kind of, yeah, what kind of musicals? All over. It, it, it kind of sucks with comedy because it takes me out of the city a lot. Sure. Which kind of sucks. Um, that's his way of saying like, he's a really, really good musical dude, theater person. That's by the way. so much funnier. <laughs> no, fuck the trans jokes. To come into Brooklyn and be like, yeah, my theater career is actually working out and I look like this. <laughs> that's so much I more just, I just got back in, uh, into the city from doing Legally Blonde the Musical. What? Pretty sick. Dude. I was doing Jersey Boys before that. Yeah. Those are both legitimate things. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's so sick. <laughs> Thank you, guys. God. Damn. This dude is just full of hacks, bro. I, yeah. I don't even know. So in South Florida, how did you get into doing musical stuff? Uh, it, uh, <laughs> hate, hate saying this out loud. It was to kiss girls, and then I was like, "Oops, I think I love acting." <laughs> I was bro, like, this I is think Troy I, Bond right here, dog. That's uh, all this is. Dude, I think I just he's doing high do school this musical. Yeah, no, yeah. not Troy Bond. Troy he's Bolton. just naming Troy Bolton, other comedians. Fuck. Oh, Troy <laughs> That's Bolton. The most incel thing to just name no. another comedian. I was trying and to say them. Get it? I was trying to say Troy Bolton. My bad. Uh, you're good. Dog. My fault. You're, good. you're so good. This guy's got his head in the game. Up yeah, here. for real. God damn. I don't. I, I don't have I any that. notes. There was at the end the fucking the con like tying it off like a crop top. So funny. So funny. Yeah. Thank it's you, deep. Dude. Yeah. And I'm getting. Oh, dude, this is Bro. fucking good. I like Thank this. You, brother. I'm, I'm, you walked up wearing awesome. those pants, and I was like, this yeah. is not gonna be. And then you you use the pants, there, dude, dude. Can I can I be on it? Can I be honest with you guys for one second? I yeah. do want to let you say something. <laughs> it took everything out of me to not come up and be like, what's going on, you guys? <laughs> it's, I'm gonna do. You guys know about trans Fuck, people. Fuck Andy Riffs. <laughs> Damn it, he riffs. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fuck. I'm going to let right. my girlfriend leave the room before we finish the rest of this. <laughs> I, I, only I, have, I only have one question, <laughs> and, it, and it's going to it's gonna be calculated to my score. Um, do you date black women? I have. I have a girlfriend of five years. I have before. Okay. My girlfriend does happen to be a very white woman. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm just going to put that into the... I'll yes. <laughs> Having a girlfriend of five awesome years is the sluttiest thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 9.5. Yeah. Five. Five. yeah. I'm, I'm going to go you. nine also. That was so fucking funny. Thank you, brother. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm going to... I was going to say nine, but the... like. Right when you walked on stage, it was so quiet. You probably noticed it yourself. Yeah. Oh, I know. And your, and your first, your first words, which I love, were "I." Uh, <laughs> That's is, the only that, thing. Which is do. the coolest way to start a set. So I'm gonna also go nine point five. Whoa, hey, yeah, you're at the yeah. top of the leaderboard. Congratulations, right? so for Jeffrey. Thank Keller. you, also. guys. Give it up for Jeffrey, everybody. Hell yeah! Are As you he soirees his way back to his seat. Hell yeah! You guys ready for your next comedian? Go into the bucket. Put your hands together right now. I keep drawing people who have already been up. That's why I'm he's drawing people he hates, and he's getting them out of the bucket. Yeah, actually, no, it's just this is all of people he does not like. He has a lot of enemies. To Hale and Julie every single time. All right, you guys just. You guys no, want to do this? Julie, this is. Yeah. Who is you fucking? We get it. You have a job. Jesus. <laughs> right. Another Jeffrey Keller. Okay. Uh, you guys want to. Put your hands together for JJ Aries, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going for him until he gets to the stage. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah. You doing good? I've had a rough week. Um, somebody on my TikTok, some 12-year-old, <laughs> some fucking, you know, he said I look like uh, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> um, and I don't even know who that is. <laughs> and I know he doesn't, you know. <laughs> that really hurt. Um, yeah, man, I'm Latino. It's rough right now, you know, being Latino, you know. We're being, you know, targeted a lot. And I don't understand it, you know. How are you targeting people that, you know, buy their whole outfits at Target? You know, how are you doing that? Like, I have the same underwear on that my mom bought me from the clearance bin in 2008. You know, I have that on right now. I just sold it on Depop for $300. Yeah. It has shit marks on it. Um, but I use the hashtag avant-garde filter, you know, and that, it got some likes, you know, it was boosting, you know. Um, guys, yeah. I'm also, you know, are we all from New York here? We're all from New York? No? Not surprising. You know, it's cool. Um, we're in Brooklyn. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm also, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Bushwick, you know. And, you know, it's cool. It was a little more cool, like, when I was growing up. It was a little more, you know, crime-ridden. <laughs> I fucked with it a little more. I like this vibe, too, though. Because, you know, now I get to hang out. Now it's, like, an area of, like, creative people, artistic people, you know. Which is a, another way of saying it is like a lot of gay people moved in, you know, <laughs> which is great. Um, because I started from the bottom and now I live with the bottoms, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that. I fuck with you guys right now. You guys are, you guys are like kind of fucking with me, but it's like, it's cool, you know? It's all good. Um, yeah, man. I just, I, I think you should all just like say yes to my cousins on the train when they try to sell you candy, you know? Because, you know, they, they, they deserve some. You know. <laughs> deserve a little. My aunt, she sells, you know. And she doesn't get, nobody buys her shit. You know. You know what, she, she eats poverty when nobody buys her candy, you know. That's why I call her my poverty. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like that. Um, do you guys want to see a picture of Eliza Minnelli? I was, I was. <laughs> It would have been uh, a little smarter to show you at the beginning, but like, look. Um, all right, yeah. All right, thank y'all, peace. Guys, JJ! Hell yeah. Showing us who Liza Minnelli is. Hell yeah. Because frankly, I didn't know. I have an idea for the people selling chocolate on the train, if you, if you guys want it. I want it. Oh, wait. I think that they should also, they should have like a, because there's no, Service down there, so they should have like a Wi-Fi router, and they should charge you to join the Wi-Fi router, like a hotspot of sorts. Yeah. And then you steal their data, mm. and then it's like you get you get you make money from both ends. Yeah. I should I start doing that? That's actually kind of a good idea. Bro, you're you're going from Skittles to fraud and hacking. Like it's <laughs> that's a huge fucking jump. No offense, but I yeah, mean, no. I'm a businessman. What do you want? It's all good. All my TOs are hackers, too, so it's fine. Nice. You know, we got Dude, it. It's like you got a Venmo a guy, and it's not even the guy that you're buying the candy <laughs> from. Like, they're not figuring out Wi-Fi yet. Mm. Does, does your aunt have a newborn? Um, 
Uh, she has a couple, you know. Oh yeah? yeah, cause I saw I saw a Mexican lady over here at the Metro Lorimer stop, uh, mm-hmm. selling mangoes with one hand and breastfeeding a baby with the other, and that shit was cool. <laughs> did you buy one? I did. I had to. Yeah. 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 Thank um, you. Yeah, that was all I had on that, on that thread. <laughs> Man. Um, yeah, very. I mean, the Liza Minnelli thing crushed at the very end. Do you usually do that? No, it's just somebody literally just called me that today. No. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Is it bothering you? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's but that's a very funny. Yeah. Uh, that's a very funny product of the gays moving to your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah l- compared to Broadway stars from the '70s, yeah. fucking hell yeah! You look like Sarah Squirm from Saturday Night Live, low key. Those are two people get it, but that's <laughs> literally what your haircut <laughs> is. It, Google it also on his phone. Later. They pull it up for us actually. If you can. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're squirming right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I have a question. Why did your Why did your underwear sell for that much? Like, I didn't get that. Um, I was, I was just making fun of like if you go on Depop, you see a lot of like. There's like jackets that have like paint marks on them. And oh, people okay. do like the hashtag vintage on it and it sells for like a thousand dollars. Oh damn, all right. Yeah. I bought a couple, but that's what's up. <laughs> Are uh, you sure it wasn't just used boy underwear? <laughs> and they're like, wow, what a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think uh one thing with your set, man, you do a lot of ums and a lot of a lot of every time you're like thinking about the next word to say. It was a little bit distracting. I think uh, I like poverty. I think <laughs> I think yeah. for the room circling back to Liza Minnelli is hilarious, but like a long term form of comedy that be I don't know if it's gonna work out. You know, you I'm, I'm a big fan of prop comedy. Yeah, I think it works. All right, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah man. What do you think? Uh, I liked it. I mean, I thought I liked uh, why Target people who get their clothes from Target. I thought that was clever. Um, yeah, man. I mean, how uh, how long you been doing comedy? Uh, a year. A year? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're you're pretty new. Um, I mean, I fucked with it. There, it, again, this is my big laugh, little laugh, uh, tally system. Oh yeah. I think three of the big laughs were the Liza Minnelli part. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So yeah, I mean, I would say I enjoyed it. Keep keep working. Keep keep writing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give my score. I'm gonna give you a five. Respect the five. What do you think? I'm going to go seven. I liked it. I thought it was funny. I'm also going to go five. Okay. So you didn't quite make the lead. Yeah, that's it. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) All right. Fuck. I had some some spicy food earlier. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'll give you a six because that was hilarious. But you still ain't make the leaderboard. Make some noise for JJ. We fuck with you, though. Hell yeah. I do fuck with JJ. JJ's the fucking man. This guy's been up already. Oh, my bad. It's okay. You guys just banter with each other until I find somebody. Who's How do you think the show's them. going so far? Are you a fan of this? Who, me? Yeah, oh, yeah. I know I Demetrius is happy oh, about Oh, I love this, dude. Yeah? yeah this is great. That's I love good. judging people, dude. It's pretty fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny because you, you can just judge. Do you know that you can just judge people? Like, the only reason we're up here is because we're like, hey, we should judge people. And then you guys all came. Yeah, <laughs> that's what an audience member is. Yeah, yeah. isn't that wild, though? Like, there's the, <laughs> the only reason we're up here is because we put the table here. You know what I mean? I, I'm doing what I would do at another open mic, just out loud. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> With an audience. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is fun. Oh, yeah. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> Are you guys ready for your seventh comic of the night? <laughs> put your hands together for Chris Saltines, everybody. <laughs> Keep it going for him until he gets to the stage. What's up? What's up, man? Nah, it's good to be in Brooklyn. I live in Queens right now. Brooklyn's great, man. Every time I come here, so many unique, diverse, amazing women, and somehow all the same one man. It's really disappointing. But uh, no, I was reading the news today. Did you guys see this story about this girl in Mallorca that just happened? Anybody see this? There was a story about this girl who's partying in Mallorca. She got drunk, passed out, fell asleep in the garbage, and then the dump truck came, picked her up, crushed her, and incinerated her. Yeah, can we get those guys in New York City? Like, <laughs> I got a desk I've been trying to get rid of for the last month, dude. I feel like a f- fucking parent of a child star with how much I'm posing it. I'm like, this way, this way, now they'll take you. Now they'll take, no, okay, this way, this way, yes. I hate how this city runs, man. I should know, I work for the MTA, okay? Yeah, so don't ask me what signal issues are, okay? <laughs> Newsflash, someone got hit by a train, okay? You're not moving for a while. Not until the responding officer finishes his game of Candy Crush and walks down the stairs. It's rough, it's rough. I work on the construction side of MTA, which is like the worst side to work on the MTA. You know, the guys that come into the station, shut everything down, yeah. The only people that are excited are the homeless, okay? (laughs) Changes up their day a bit. They're like, oh my God, I love what you did here, blue walls. 
Blue walls. And what's this? Blue walls. Oh, and, stop. Who told you I wanted blue walls in the bathroom? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Construction stuff, because it's it's also election time, which is the worst time to work in construction. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but the number one enemy of the construction worker is political correctness. Okay. I understand if you work in an office job, if you don't like political correctness, because it's like, yo, where do we stop, guys? Where are we drawing the line? Construction, we say the same thing. We're like, yo, when are we going to stop? Okay. <laughs> where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? <laughs> You try to tell these guys they can't say certain things, but the struggle is construction. I'll be honest, it's where all of our stereotypes go to work, okay? It's rough. I tell my friends some of the joke, and they're always appalled. They're like, bro, you got to teach these guys, man. You got to sit them down, teach them the complexities of skin color and race and how it intertwines in today's society. I'm like, dude, these guys barely even understand their taxes, okay? <laughs> you think they're ready to tackle nuance? Tough chance. I had one guy that I bond with. Uh, sometimes we always joke around, but uh, he's real rough around the edges, I won't lie. I went to L.A., and then I came back from L.A., and I was like, yo, man, I just got back from L.A. And he goes, let me stop you there. You got to be careful around that kind of place, right? It's the type of place where you bring a chick home, and then you find out while you're fucking her in the ass, she's got a dick. I'm like, dude, how many people are you fucking in the ass? No questions asked, okay? <laughs> you know there's several steps until you get there, right? Like, I don't think you should really be worried about the cock and balls. You should be worried about HIV. That's more, okay? What was the giveaway? Did you finally make her come? Was that what it was? All right. What's your excuse for not finding the clit now? All right, thank you, guys. My name's Chris Saltines. <laughs> guys, give it up for Chris. Hey. Go for it. Me first? Yeah, sure. You sound like you want it. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's a new mark. What does A stand for? Yeah. So I, I added a, a new uh, cat, <laughs> category. It wasn't because of me, was it? No, it was, so this is every okay. time you laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't know if I've heard you laugh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If, like, if you if you like this or most of the clips for the show, the comments are, "Oh wow, that guy really laughs weird, huh?" <laughs> Who, Demetrius? No, me. Oh, you? oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm so, fine. I, I've accepted it. It's cause, fine. Because uh, I was here, you know, I was hearing laughs here, and I was like, "Oh, it made you know Austin laugh." So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Matt, what what sport of is that jersey? Oh, it's a Lithuanian hockey jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm that's Lithuanian. Like, that's why. Oh, that's what's up, dude. Yeah. Was that a Soviet state? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, we're like Until 1991. That was when it was bronze medal in the 1992 Olympics. They oh, call us shit. the other dream team. That's yeah. what they that's call cool, us. man. Whoa. And you locked up that one ball, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is oh, this? Lamelo, was it? Angelo. Oh, that's who it was. I and both of them, Angela. actually. They both played in Lithuania for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. For, I think it was Konis, I think, was the team that they played for. But yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. Put his ass away. <laughs> um, I have no idea what any of that meant. but It's like, it, this is biracial importance. Got it. <laughs> it's okay, got very it. important to okay. these people. Yeah. We only have like seven of these guys, so we got gotta it. keep track of them. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You can finish your thought. Uh, I mean, I didn't have one, but uh, <laughs> okay, hell yeah. But uh, yeah, I was, you know, with I'll just give my score, dude, because let's just keep it moving. Um, I'm gonna say these are point three each, so this is uh, one point two plus two plus one. That's not that much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're saying my life is worth point three? That's pretty it's just good, a actually. Bonus. It's like a little yeah. bonus boost. That's nice. So like I'm gonna it. just give it a five, bro. <laughs> Five? I like okay. that your that your voice for uh, the stage actor mom and homeless guy were the same voice. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got to diversify it a little bit. But. <laughs> and I thought it was both just like 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 gay guy from the early teens. <laughs> I thought that's what homeless guys sound like to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's what they all sound like. Yeah, on they were my all job. gay. That's what were, were you doing like a gay voice? Is that what it was? No, I thought name? what I picture more is HGTV when they're looking at a new home and they're just like, oh my god, it's beautiful in here. Okay, that that's was a more. Gay that's a gay voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not gay. It's HGTV. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> I think it's white woman, but he just is a man. Oh, it, okay. Though. I wouldn't. Sure. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Right, my, <laughs> bad, my bad, brother Demetrius. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, Give yourself a little A for that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't fucking know what to say to you. I feel like a smearing off ice. Hate to see you coming, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, a Modelo man. man. That's what I am. Uh, I think that you got a lot of you got a lot of confidence. You got a lot of energy, and I love the energy. I love the confidence. I thought the I like the darkness of the Mallorca joke, but I think you gotta like slow down just a tad. 
yeah. just to like let the punchline sit because I didn't know where to like laugh sometimes. I think the second half of the set was a little lagging on the punchlines and you were kind of just going through it so fast that like we didn't notice. But I think the writing could have been stronger uh, post the Mallorca, the Mallorca joke thing because you like lost me on the blue walls thing after that. I was like, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, no, yeah, they put up the blue walls for the construction thing. It just, I just needed a little bit I guess more you. time. Uh, yeah, I think that that's about it. I, yeah, I just need a little bit more time. Punch it up a little bit. You got anything you want to say? Also, yeah. like, I don't know. Maybe don't. I don't know. I don't know about the uh, age joke. I think maybe <laughs> chill on that one just a little bit, dude. Wait, which one? The age joke? Yeah, at the end. You more worried about the fucking in the ass than the AIDS thing? I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, no. I think that... <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a really interesting position because you have a job that we all know what it is and it affects all of us on like a daily basis but none of us could even begin to guess what you like are doing every day yeah and i feel like i you... don't even know dude i'll fucking be <laughs> honest <laughs> but i feel like because of that like you took the joke and you like political grant you can talk about that if you want to but it feels like that's something that a lot of people talk about but i've never heard anyone talk about being like a like a construction worker for the mta and like what that even means and i feel like the fact that you have this interesting perspective and job is something that i would want to hear more about you don't have to do it if you don't fucking want to but like yeah. to me like taking it and making it about political correctness is taking like your interesting like unique thing and putting it in the public domain like you know you've heard a thousand political correctness jokes i gotcha so my I feel like when i talk about construction especially as, as a white dude i look like terrible if i start talking about it so i'm always trying to be like no no i'm on your side don't worry <laughs> no but i feel like you can it's talk not my enemy it's not my enemy <laughs> no i get that but i feel like because it is like what you actually do like i mean i don't know try it if you want to don't try it if you don't want to but yeah. i would i think that that would be a much more like interesting topic than political correctness would be just because yeah. i feel like that's just so overdone at this point yeah. dude when you said he had a job that affects all of us i thought you meant he's a comedy booker i was like oh, shit, <laughs> i was like i'm about to update my score yes <laughs> yeah dude this dude's not doing anything with book in the title <laughs> <laughs> i'm a field Sorry. guy so you got it right <laughs> <laughs> yeah my argument joke was really funny the rest of it was i'm gonna go six but i really do think that you should uh I, know, I said it already. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go five as well. So you didn't quite Fair make the enough. leaderboard, but make some noise for him, everybody. Please come back. Please come back. Are you guys ready? This is the eighth comic of the night, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we only got four more after this. You guys got energy for him? $141 on the line? Yeah. Put your hands together for Sadie. Hail, everybody. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Someone today told me my voice sounds like it's going to give them an ear infection. <laughs> uh, I was like, just telling me to shut the fuck up would have worked perfectly fine, asshole. No, it's not even the craziest thing. Recently, someone heard my voice. They asked me if I had gonorrhea of the throat. I was like, I don't, but you definitely did, right? I don't think you would know to ask that question unless you've personally experienced it. So I stopped hooking up with him. I was like, this, is, this isn't safe. Speaking of uh, hooking up, I tried to have a hot girl summer. I failed, so now I'm telling people I'm having a feral girl fall, which I'm not. And I don't know why I keep thinking a singular season could go any different than the way the rest of my life has gone. I don't even identify as single anymore. I identify as alone. Single. <laughs> the awe makes me want to kill myself a little bit more. Awesome. No, single implies you're having fun. I'm like, I'm not. I don't know. It's hard. All my friends are in healthy relationships, which makes me realize how lucky I was when I was third-wheeling toxic couples. Third-wheeling third toxic couples is the best. It makes you feel like you're doing the right thing by not being in a relationship, because you're like, at least I'm not in that. You know? Definitely closer to finding true love than those two fuck-ups are. That's for sure. Oh, but now I third-wheel these healthy couples, and that's all I am. I'm an unnecessary third party. Sit there, watch them do things like play fight over who loves the other one more. You guys ever caught that live? It's bizarre. <laughs> like, I love you more. I love you more. I'm like, I loved your gaslighting ex more. I think you, I think you should call him. Um, I feel like another sign of this, all of them have insane baby fever now. Like all my friends, anytime they see a random little kid, they freak out. They're like, oh, God, cannot wait to have a baby. Can't wait to be a mom. I'm like, what? Not only when I see a baby, am I like, yeah, I could wait. <laughs> like, I could definitely put that off for a few more decades. Oh, honestly, my first thought is I get jealous. I'm like, I wish I was still that baby. 
my friends want more responsibility. I'm like, please take me back to a time where I had less. Love being a kid. I'm also just not good with little children, you know? I don't have a voice that sounds like it should be interacting with little kids. My voice doesn't sound like it should be legally allowed on a playground. No. And like, you know that high-pitched baby voice adults use when they talk to little kids? It's like, ha- like I, I honestly can't mimic it. Anytime I try to do it, I sound like Barney after he'd smoke crack and get back on set. I'm like, hey, kids. Everybody's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm so sorry. Are like, you trying to scare them? I'm like, no. Start to panic. I'm like, I, I think I have gonorrhea of the throat. I'm gonna get it. Anyways, my name is Sadie Hale. Thank you. Yeah! Yay. Sadie Hale! Hell yeah, dude. Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm from Boston. Sorry, I don't know. I'm from Bo- well, I'm from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, That makes sense. That, yeah. I feel that energy. Yeah. <laughs> that you, can mean a lot of things. Yeah. So that, so, do, you but, have, do you have brothers? I do. Yeah, I that do. makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Everybody yeah. in Boston has brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't worry, dude. That's cool. No, with this voice, I'm the third, but no. <laughs> But Yo, yeah. that was funny, man. How long you been doing it? You said uh, a little under two years. Oh little, damn, oh, that was oh. really good for that, bro. Oh, you were so fucking funny. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, no, I totally. Said, White women are back, dude. Yeah, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Woo. Uh, <laughs> back I up, do it back for the, the people. No. I, even, yeah. I even, I even put a. Uh, I heard my first Demetrius laugh tonight. <laughs> so I put a little. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> you, you got you got uh, five A's and an A plus and an A. Asterisk uh, it's plus more than I ever got in and school. A D, nice. And then six of the big ones, and then eight, uh, nine oh of the little my. ones. Wow. So that's a lot. It uh, is so weird to laugh and in the corner of your eye watch and mark it down. <laughs> 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 All right, yes. yeah, now I'm putting one James down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude. Damn, I really don't have it. You've definitely you have really good stage presence and like energy and like oh. we were having fun the whole time, dude. You really fucking killed yeah, that I, shit. I will Thank say you. I will say that that was uh, a really good set for this show super punchy you did the you know usually people start with like i look like it's like i sound like yeah. uh got a lot of laughs in that uh super p- consistently punchy and funny the entire way through um yeah so props thank good you shit. appreciate hell it hell yeah your voice always like that <laughs> it is yeah i know Word. Yeah, well, 2020 well, was a tough year for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, so. that's a smoking inside voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a diner with a cigarette. Like <laughs> I used to have a voice once, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's right. a voice that's solving the case right now, dog. <laughs> I do get sympathy looks of oh, she's gonna have a trach in a couple <laughs> years. W- were you in a sorority? Uh, I was. I actually got. I got dropped though from Mike's. I was. You it, got was dropped during, out of a keg well, stand. Well, I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like girl, I feel like girls with raspy voices were always in like the craziest sorority. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't. I was not much of an active participant. I wasn't okay. good. That's why I got kicked out because I wasn't paying my dues. But it was COVID. I was like, I'm not on campus. I, why oh, would okay. I pay for this? And that's what's up. Yeah. But. Whoa. Wait. We were in college at the same time. That's yeah. sick. Okay. For wait, sure. I, I, what year did you graduate? Huh? I was in uh, 2021. Okay, I would have been that, but I took yeah, the COVID old. year off, and then I, so I graduated in 2022. No, it's, uh, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop Josh and you. They hate me for making jokes against because you're we're very funny, man. I don't really have any notes on your uh, on your thing. I like your stage presence. I like you was very fucking punchy. I thought it was great. Do you have anything more you want to say? No, really? I'm a nine. I liked it a lot, dude. Nine. I'm going higher. I'm going 9.5. What? Like that was fun. I liked it. That yeah. was funny. I uh, I was going to do nine, but the the, the the Austin A plus give you a little 9.5. Whoa. So, uh, Whoa. so that point five is for me, actually. So you're Whoa. welcome. Yeah. 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 Well, you're, you're tied for first with Jeffrey Keller. Congratulations. Yeah. Give it up for Sadie, everybody. Yeah. She goes back to watching Barstool Sports on her phone, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Were they up already? Uh, yes, sir. Just, I'm so bad at remembering who's uh, been it's up. It's okay. I'll, I'll look at celebrity. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, give yeah. it a poll. Give it a poll. They went up already. So they went up already, yeah. Okay. Yep. My guy up here with the hoodie. Uh, who's your favorite, Ben, so that far? That guy didn't go up okay. yet. Uh, give it up for Wale, everybody. Give you got saved. Wale. Guys, give it up for Wale. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo. Uh, I'm having problems. Uh... I went to my therapist recently, and I was like, uh, I'm having a problem. Uh, I think people are being racist to me when they're not. Ah! Right? My therapist looked at me and said, look, N-word. I was like, what you call me? He said, no, look, N-word. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh my bad. You got me there. 
I grew up in New York. I dated a lot. Uh, I did a lot of white girls, and I also dated a lot of black girls. Uh, my last girlfriend was black. Two girlfriends before that, white. Another white girl. Another black girl. <laughs> Yo, my love life looks like a piano. <laughs> it's like that song, The Fur Elise. You know. Black girl, white girl, black girl, white. White girl, black. Black girl, white. White girl, black girl, black girl, black girl, white. White girl, black. Black girl, white. White girl, black. Black girl, white. White girl, black. Black girl, white. Black girl, black girl, black girl, black girl, white. White girl, black. Black girl, white. So my new girl is Asian. <laughs> Uh, I hate when people create like sayings and shit like that. <laughs> like my girlfriend asked me like, uh, "Can I dump on you?" And I was like, "Yo, babe, I'm not that freaky." <laughs> she says, "No, I want to talk." I was like, "Oh, I thought you want to take a shit on your boy." <laughs> she says, "No, I just want to talk." I was like, "Go ahead." She said, uh, "I don't really feel seen in this relationship, and I don't really feel valued by you. I feel like you only use me for money." I was like, "Wait." I'd rather you shit on me. Go ahead. <laughs> please, take a shit on me, please. But I didn't know you could ask a set for, like, having a conversation. I never knew that shit, right? So I'm asking you to crowd. Can I, can I dump on you? Yeah. yeah. Good, because I just ate a burrito earlier. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm, uh, my father passed recently. Sucks, right? <laughs> the thing is, I found out my father died on my way to work. Sad, right? I still had to go to work, too. Because there's no such thing as bereavement when you're broke <laughs> and the berent is due. <laughs> Bere shit. Yeah. Sucks, right? Then I, I think as I hate when the, the the conversation around death, like people always say, like, hey, do you my condolences? Like that's the most convenient word in the world, my condolences. That shit feels like when you sleep over at your friend's house and they give you a like a small sheet. Motherfucker, it's cold. <laughs> Thank you, my name is Wale. Keep it going for Wale, everybody. Yeah. I, I really I, I liked how far you went with the fur release joke. Because I was really like, damn, he's he's still doing it. And then it and then it kept hitting. <laughs> I, don't know, I got funny. the whole shit. I got the whole like music down. It was like three minutes. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> it, gets, it gets weird. <laughs> Fur release looks like that's what that jacket's made out of. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> good. Uh, some tight, some tight pants you got, dog. I like it. I work on my legs too much for y'all. Like, <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Yeah, like uh, people Dude. like you got tight pants. I'm like, yo, bro, women are not the only ones, man. I feel like the pockets. Yeah, the pockets, I've never seen anyone use those pockets before. Those have been purely I will always decorational use pockets. Yeah, notebook <laughs> pockets. Cause you're using the shit out of them too. You got headphones in the other ones, <laughs> yeah. bro. That's yeah. so funny. Always use them, man. That's what's up, bro. Uh, but you can't use the ones up top because you're just too thick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo, y'all, y'all, y'all freak. Got some freak ass boys up here. What's good? Well, I'm just saying, you know. Some freak ass I think, boys. I think, this, I think this is an accurate assessment. You threatened to take a shit on the audience. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. You I, I do that. I'm just yeah. saying you wanted to dump on him. That's uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, I thought it was it was funny, and then at the end with the dead dad and the burrito thing, I think you kind of like lost us for a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but before that, I feel like I like I like no offense, man. Uh, okay, continue. I'm sorry. Nah, go for no, it. No, no, it's here. If you start saying say no offense, you gotta finish. This <laughs> yeah. No offense, like I like comedy, but like I like comedy. It's like okay, cool. It's like you're happy, happy. Take me a longer journey. Take me yeah. a longer journey. And I don't mind going deep down. I don't like going down because I'm like I'm gonna pick myself up. Just let me get there. For sure. He's and the, trying to gaslight us. <laughs> well, bro, what, what I was going to say what, what I was gonna say is I really wish I could see you do a longer set because yeah. I feel like three minutes is almost too short for like what you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, I really like the uh, can I dump on you and you, th you thought that was her taking a shit on you. Um, and yeah, it just feels like this is almost too like I feel like you would thrive in a 10 minute environment. Thank you so yeah. much. My personal, my personal feelings. Can I ask you a question about the uh, interracial dating? Yeah. So I noticed your Jordans are dirty. <laughs> Do you ever Yo, look at them bro. and you're like, should I clean them or should I just date white bitches now? <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> Do you want to answer? No. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want. 
Nah, uh, I feel like, <laughs> first off, we give uh, white women way too much credit. Uh, yeah. Way too much credit for dirty sneakers. And if you look at, like, the style of, like, in fact, if you look at even Virgil Abloh, right? He created the like, the Air Jordan 2s, and he made them look, like, super vintage. And, uh-huh. to the, and the fact that, like, a lot of Air Jordans now are, like, like messing up their Jordans. I was like, no, we've, like, black people have, like, dirty sneakers for a really long time, and we've given that to white women. I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I hear you. Mm. Hey, also, don't let this biracial nigga talk to you like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, also, what are these, dog? Huh? What are these? Uh, I don't know. Some clean sneakers. Shut the fuck up, James. I like them. I like them. Pussy, dude. Get the fuck off my dick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I think like you decided to insult him for his shoes and not what this this hoodie says. Uh, what? <laughs> what, is, what does it say? <laughs> Yeah, what does it say? Fuck you! You're trying to fucking cook me right now? So if we're gonna try to cook me? Well, if we're insulting your outfit, I feel like we should start it. Dude, what are you talk- talking about my outfit? You got your outfit from a fucking... Fucking... <laughs> Finish yeah, it. Where'd I get it from? Finish where'd I get it from? It. Get it from? Fucking Hold Vietnam on. veteran. What the fuck is the Grateful Dead, motherfucker? I get that. 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 You look like you don't. You do orange sunshine. You old (laughs) drug doing motherfucker. Fuck you. I got this shirt from a drug dealer in Texas one time. Yeah. (laughs) That's crazy. You saw a drug dealer. You were like, yo, let me get my closet up. (laughs) Step it up. But what drugs was he selling though? I don't know. This is a long story. I wasn't buying drugs. He wasn't a drug dealer. He was just a weird dude. Yeah. He did give me this shirt apropos of nothing. So, yeah. Mm. And I, I wear it really often. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Yeah. yeah what you want? Like an eight? What you, you want? A Thank quarter? No, no, yeah. no. Nah, 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 I want that shirt. He actually, <laughs> what happened was I was at, a, at my friend's house with a bunch of his friends, and one of the guys was like, yo, you look like you need a shirt right now. And then he handed me this. <laughs> and that's how, and now I wear it oh. so often. Well, that's a fun story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad the energy's not hostile anymore. Yeah. 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 Okay, I guess back to you. I like. I was hostile. No, 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 you were great. You were lovely. No, no, no. no. It was, uh, it was inward. (laughs) It was was inward. There was some fighting here. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. We're all fighting for control, dude. Oh yeah, no, it hurts so bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that about your sweatshirt. Yeah, man. What the fuck? This shit is tight as hell. You don't fuck. (laughs) You don't fuck with mob. What's mauve? It's this color. The color. Oh, oh. You, you, you can't be using words like that around people. You can't. You can't use words like that around white people. I'm sorry. You gotta say pink. You're not fucking with pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I know what you're telling me. Thank you. For, thank you for uh, clearing it up for me, Demetrius. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, I like your set a lot. Uh, it definitely lost us in the burrito section a little bit, but the... What was the first joke? Oh, inward. That was so funny, dude. That I'm was gonna, hilarious. That was funny. That was I'm gonna hilarious. go eight. Thanks. I liked it. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to go 7. Uh, I'm going to split the difference, 7.5. 7.5, hell yeah. Let me see if you're on the leaderboard, 15. I'm not on the leaderboard. Point. Yes, you are. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, but now you're not because you don't believe in yourself. Oh, no, I was doing tallies <laughs> up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, man. All right. Yeah, you're on the leaderboard. Make some noise for Wale, everybody. Uh, hell yeah. You ready for our 10th comedian of the night? Put your hands together for David Weissglass, everybody. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Uh, I'll tell you guys, I'm single right now. What? Oh my God, we can't believe it. Uh, I'm saying, my friends say that I'm too picky. I don't think that's true. Uh, I only have one red flag. I refuse to date any woman who's into me. It's not my type. Uh, I don't think a girl is too nice to me. It's weird, you know? Well, the last girl I dated, she was too nice. She'd say things to me. She'd be like, I don't think I've ever met anybody like you. Yeah, she said that to me, to the 33 year old Brooklyn based Ashkenazi trying to make it in stand up. There's eight of me on this lineup tonight. Like, what? let's be real. It's not like I came up here, y'all were like, ooh, we're going to get a unique perspective. Like, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> I like girls a little bit mean. I think that's hot. Like, I don't know if I want to date a girl with resting bitch face. I do want to date a resting bitch, though. You know, just kind of rude, takes a lot of naps. Like, that's the dream. My friend was like, I think you just want a cat. I was like, I might just want a cat. That's fair. <laughs> I, uh, it's funny that I was single during COVID. I lived alone. That was, that was lonely. A lot of people like picked up hobbies and shit. Uh, I, on the other hand, strongly consider purchasing myself a pet tortoise to keep me company. I was this close. Uh, but here's the thing. We knew COVID was going to be over at some point. They weren't working on vaccines to make girls want to fuck dudes with tortoises. That's, that's evaded our finest mind. That's how self-destructive I was during COVID. My brain was like, hey, notice that you've been lonely lately. But what if you could be lonely forever? How about that? 
Uh, it's dating apps. I'm on a bunch of the dating apps. They got dating apps for like everything, everything now. There's a dating app for little people. It's called Date a Little. I'm just telling you what it's called. Uh, jokes make themselves. Do you think they have the same thing on that app that we, you think there's women on that app that are like, don't even bother swiping right if you're under three foot one. Like, whatever their six foot equivalent is, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I had a pretty good summer, man. I had a, I had a buddy come out to me this summer as bi. He came out to me as bisexual. I was, uh, I, was, I was being supportive. I was like, that's great, dude. You know, how'd you come to the conclusion that you're bi? How'd you figure that out? Did you hook up with a dude? He was like, no. I was like, all right, but you, you want to hook up with a dude? He was like, ugh, no. I always thought that was a big part of it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, what about you is bisexual? And he goes, well, nowadays when I go out to bars and clubs, like I notice a lot of guys looking me up and down, buying me drinks, so I must be bi. <laughs> Sorry, some of the men here are learning that they're bisexual right now. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, this is the venue for that discovery. I was like, dude, you're insane. You're not gay because a dude wants to fuck you. All right? You think I'm into bestiality because the dog humped my leg at the park the other day? No. I'm into bestiality because I fucked that dog afterwards. But look, I had agents there. My puppy, my choice. That's what I always say. All right, I'll finish it there. My name is David Weissglass. Y'all are cool. David Weissglass. Hell yeah. Finishing on the dog. In the dog, I'll have you know. In the dog. <laughs> well, he we fucked the dog to completion. That's the only way to do it. Yeah, I guess if you're going to do it, do it. Yeah, that is... Anything yeah. worth doing. Anything worth doing is worth doing 100%. That's no. true. No. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I'm tired of this. No more dog fucking. I is that because it looks like you had dog ears on your hair right now? No, stop looking at me like that. Stop you, looking at me like that. Hey, you opened the door. I just walked in, dude. Uh, it was a doggy door, and it was always open. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. No more. <laughs> Do you think guys who are into bestiality but don't have dogs do have doggy doors on their house just in case? You know, just in case one like one. <laughs> like if I had a, if there was Not an option like a dog. Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Like if I had like a like a hot girl door, if that existed, I would put one on my house. You know. A hot girl door. Yeah, just for them to like walk through. I'm trying to figure out what that would look like. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> did, someone, did someone boo in the audience? Yeah, my girlfriend yeah. booed in the audience. <laughs> yeah, remember yeah. when I said it was too much? <laughs> you want to keep going? <laughs> no, dude. Dog no, fucking enough. Uh, yeah, man. I think it's funny that you're submissive. I like that because you said you want to like a mean girl. You want a girl yeah. to be a little bit mean to you. Do you, th do you find that to be the case? Do you like uh, <laughs> Who's asking? Uh, I'm asking. I'm, uh, I'm asking. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I, I do like it when a girl it is uh, I, I do like it when a girl's a little mean like not like sexually I don't like it tied up and shit I don't know if that's where you're going with it I wasn't going with it I was just right, well I just went to it sounds like that's top of mind you for you though interesting yeah mm -hmm. interesting. no I do I, I think that's hot I'm into that hell yeah for sure sick <laughs> <laughs> glad I got that information right. <laughs> yeah I enjoyed your set I uh, you made be you made bestiality work no. that's pretty cool not a, lot of, not a lot of people can make that work on, on stage, and uh, you kind of got your 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 little paws on that one, didn't you? <laughs> so I thought that was fun. The uh, the little people dating joke was was really funny. Like, don't talk to me if you're under three foot one. Mm. Oh yeah, that's usually part of a bigger joke, but I slipped it out. I'm glad it worked alone. I like that. Cheers. I like it. I like it. Uh, can I go and then can I go pee between the, the next people? Yeah. yeah. Go pee. Um, I'm gonna just add up the score, the the things on my proprietary system. <laughs> Uh, we got four big tallies, two oh, A's and a D. D so. Are you an eight? I, it's an eight for me. Eight. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I think he's valuing the D's higher than the A's on his tally marks. Well, I mean, there's only been like three a night, man. That's yeah, that's true. My laughs are worth more than your laughs. Yeah, there's so bad. few of them. Yeah. I'm so much sadder inside. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's true. That's this true. Is, this is depressing. Do I need to be up here for this? <laughs> Please. You do. You'll, you'll be up here until me and Demetrius say you don't have to be up here. So, Demetrius, what makes you sad? What's wrong with you? What makes me sad? Yeah. Man. Look inward. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Sedan. There's <laughs> well, a lot of shit going on right now, man. I be thinking too much. I think that's why I be sad sometimes because I be thinking. Do you think you can make that part of your set? No, I'm no not way. liking this at all. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like yeah. to be uplifting. I, I'm I'm upset my comedy didn't. Do you, you really have a, tur a tortoise? No, I I was I was thinking about it. Mm. I was I was actually oh, okay. kind of close, and everyone was like, what "You should, the get, fuck a, is you should wrong get a snake. They're way cooler." All right, if I if you want to be honest, I was actually thinking about a bird, but no, that's I, the worst answer. Snake. <laughs> well, exactly. And then tortoise is funnier. Yeah, tortoise is pretty funny. And then guys, snake is like too obvious. I don't know. Yeah, I get that. Do you guys want to hear my power ranking of pets? It's it's uh, snakes, 
then other reptiles, then dogs, and then like cats are at the very bottom below everything else. I just inherited. Oh, oh, and then oh no no sorry, fish then dogs. Fish are way better pets than dogs. Fish are amazing. Fish are the coolest fucking thing ever, dude. Yeah. I'm on board. They're not feeling it. They're not feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, check out the aquarium. It's free on Wednesdays. Uh, (laughs) I'll be there. I feel like we have to vamp until he gets back from the bathroom, and I kind of ran out of fish things to talk about. You want to talk about snakes some more? You want to talk about the Sudan? Yeah, I, no, I mean, like, it, they, it's been bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's, uh, we, we talk about the SRF later, for no sure. Uh, but I don't know what to say about your set. I really am just trying to... The little people six-foot thing is hilarious. I fucking love that. I thought it was great. You came at it. You were respectful. I think the tortoise COVID thing, I think that some girls would be interested in a tortoise man. I, I have told that joke once, and after the setup, I heard some awes in the crowd, and I was like, no, you're supposed to, no. Uh, it's, reptiles it's, are cool, dog. Get on board, okay? Fuck. Give, me another, like give me another animal. What's an animal? There are women here. What's an animal that I should say? No, that's wrong. Bearded dragon bearded just say. Bearded dragon is First of all, that's sick. That's a, <laughs> dude, if you got a bearded dragon, that dragon has seen you take some ferocious back shots. Oh, my God. Do you know how many girls I've clapped in the lighting of a heat lamp? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's bad. That's a slutty pet. You should get three. <laughs> I am pretty slutty. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, seven from Austin. We can finally oh, get to say okay, that. Okay, for sure. What do you think it's going? What you say? He said eight. I, I said, he said you eight. guys only did one score. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for you. <laughs> um, I mean, I thought I thought it was pretty funny, but I think it. I, I don't know. I think it could have been punched up a little bit. I'm gonna go six point five. Let me see if you are on the leaderboard. 15, 21.5. So you only missed it by 0.5, but very funny. Please come back. Make some noise for David Wise, guys, everybody. Guys, let him hear it. Are you guys ready for your next comedian? Yeah. Put your hands together for Elisa Brown, everybody. So stressed out. Crazy vibes tonight. Uh, What else is crazy? I uh, I turned 30 this year. Yeah. (laughs) Five. 35, huge difference, huge difference. Yeah, 35 is not 30. No, at 30, I never took a vitamin. And at 35, I regret that. My bones are weak. It's calcium deficiency joke. Okay, big dairy fans in here. Uh, Let's see, yeah, I'm having a hard time accepting my age. Uh, So I'm doing this new thing I like to call Completely lying about who I am. <laughs> yeah, I had a job interview the other day, and I was like, "Why, well, yes, I am Gen Z. <laughs> Slay! <laughs> Unlimited PTO. Go off, King! <laughs> yes, we have Gen Z here. You, you're Gen Z, right? Yeah, I can pick you guys out. You guys are like my Where's Waldo. <laughs> I'm like, I found a brown one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am about that. Um, Yeah, I'm in a relationship, long, long time, six years. Been lying about that too. Yeah, I like to tell people four years because when people hear four years, they get excited for me. They're like, ooh, are you thinking about getting married? But when they hear six years, they're like, ooh, damn. No ring. And it's so hurtful. (laughs) I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, threaten to leave? Can't afford to move out. (laughs) Or I've been thinking I could uh, fake a pregnancy. Didn't work. (laughs) Does cause trust issues. Yeah, or, you know, I've been thinking I could fall back on the marry me or I'll kill myself. (laughs) Sorry, Gen Z, unalive myself. (laughs) Yeah, that one, that one's tricky. That one works. <laughs> that one's tricky. Can't do that one yet. No. The last time I told this joke, there was a woman in the audience who yelled out, why don't you propose to him? Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, why don't I start splitting the check? <laughs> and admitting when I'm wrong. <laughs> it's not the world I want to live in, ma'am. All right, that's my time. Thanks, guys. My name is Lisa Brown. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. What do you yeah. think? Uh, I thought it was great. Um, Thanks. You went a minute. So the, when the, when you get the light, you still have another minute. 
I don't uh, know. Yeah, it I, took me about 30 seconds to start even recording, pressing the. Oh, time. okay. All right. But all right, so, bad, but bad. yeah, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, dude. She was, uh, she did fine. All right. She cool. probably did. I was right, on three, right? right. right. Huh? You were. It was like, like you did a great job. You nailed it. Yeah. You did fine. Don't you did worry good. about that. Thank you. Very I, funny. What what jersey? What sport jersey is that? Uh, Cape Cod. You haven't heard. Yeah. You know. Is that? Are you from there? I mean, I was born there, but this is just like a a Bodhi Nike collab. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. My boyfriend bought it for me. Oh, that's what's up. Not fiance? Interesting. Anyway. (laughs) Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, what a surprise. The dudes who are super into streetwear don't like to commit. (laughs) 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 Babe, I won't buy you this ring without this collab. They just dropped a new Cape Cod collab. (laughs) You're from there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, what if you collabed a diamond with my finger? (laughs) I really like that th- this whole societal thing of like women shouldn't propose to men. I think that's I think that's cool because I I don't I like that we get to decide when that's gonna happen. And that's cool for us. Yeah. I no, no. I think I think that in a progressive world, women would propose to men, but I like that we're not there yet because I don't want to get surprised by that. Yeah. At it's all. also like it's nice that that one that's firmly in my hands. Yeah. It's also great. And you guys are the ones making it, by the way. It's not me. I'm not. Women could start proposing any day now, but you just have decided not to, and I think that's pretty good. And the ring would the, the ring would only be worth eighty three percent as much. Nice. As <laughs> nice. 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 Yeah. No, nice. that's gross. Hey, we're just having, <laughs> we're having fun. Women having don't want to do that. Yeah. No offense if anybody's done that. <laughs> Has anyone in this room done that? No. Thank okay. Go- good. Thank God. Yeah. I Propose did. to their uh, male partner. <laughs> I guess I was going to say husband, but I wouldn't be husband yet. Boyfriend. No one? Okay, cool. Moving forward. Um, Word. I liked your set a lot. I thought you were funny. Thank you. I think you fit a lot into a two minute and 45 second set. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seemed like it seemed longer uh, in a good way almost. Um, so yeah, that was <laughs> very good. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm new at this. Um <laughs> You're doing great. I like the You're making him nervous. It's You're funny, dude. Great, uh-huh. Yeah, she's making you nervous. I just wish I had more constructive things to say, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a seven point five overall. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight. I liked it. I thought it was fun. Uh, yeah, I liked I liked it. I love the overall theme of you being a liar. I think that that's <laughs> fun as hell. Uh, the only thing that I'm fucking being a stickler about was like the calcium joke is not a joke. <laughs> you just said I wish Why? I took. You said I wish I took vitamins because my bones hurt. No, calcium I, I regret, deficiency joke. I regret not taking vitamins, and because I haven't taken vitamins, I have a calcium deficiency. It's a leap in log- logic, or it's like a leap in connection. Yeah, and it's I a leap in logic, Demetrius. Uh, it's a str- Strong calcium deficiency joke, and I stand by it. Mm. It's not a joke. See what That's I did there? Strong calcium. That no. is that is a cause and effect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it's a little thought I had that I like to do. So, <laughs> other than that, though, I'll, I liked I'll it a lot. It. No, I liked it a lot. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven point five. I thought it was fun. I liked it a lot. If it makes you feel better, all my friends. It's told me not to do that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I have ran it by them, and they're like, don't do that. I like that you have good friends. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Uh, wait, what were your scores again? You said eight? I said eight. He's at 7.5. Eight, 7.5, 7.5. Okay, so fucking 15, 23. Thank you. Right. I could do it Julie. without the sass, maybe. <laughs> Give me a fucking second. Jesus Christ. 23, you're on the leaderboard. All right, make some yes. noise for Elisa, everybody. And guys, this next comedian is our last comedian in round one. Who's excited for that? Hell yeah. We got $141 on the line. Put your hands together right now for Isabel Volings, everybody. Hey, I'm from the Midwest, which means that I wear sandals in the winter, and every single time somebody steps on them, whenever I'm getting on or off the, the subway platform, I'm the one who does the apologizing. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the Midwest. Uh, we have a large German and Polish population, and moving to New York, um, I'm Ukrainian, and I have learned there is such a large Slavic population here, and I'm learning to enjoy it. I would go to the park a lot. I was at Washington Square Park one time, and I had this one guy come up to me. He's like, are you Hungarian? Are you Ukrainian? And I didn't know how to handle it at first, but I'm learning that I think my resting bitch face just really translates. Everybody just immediately identifies me as Ukrainian. I am an actor, and I, thank you, I recently was uh, was on set, and I was paired with a little family, and we had, like, 
I was immediately put in this little Ukrainian family. And it was so cute. It was so cute. And I had this little girl, and I had curled up hair, and she had her little curled up hair. And it was the most adorable thing. And we were in the 50s, and then I came home that day. And first of all, my onset daughter was so much cooler than me. The entire time, her mom kept coming up to her, and she kept trying to put a, a coat on her. And she's like, honey, do you want any treats from Crafty? Do you want any water, any chocolate? And she's like, no, mom, I'm fine. And then her mom went away, and she's like, so I'm going to Sabrina Carpenter concert tomorrow. I'm so excited. And I was just like, oh, how is she so much cooler than me? I go home that night, and I talk to my boyfriend, and he's like, you know, if you were in the 50s, you really would have had a 10-year-old now. This is... <laughs> This really is your reality, I guess, if you were in the 50s. And I was like, fuck. There's no way I could have had a 10-year-old now. I know I'm so not ready to mother. Oh, it's crazy. But I'm really taking advantage of being of Ukrainian descent. I was on the subway recently, and I saw this guy. He was doing backwards push-ups. He was just fully just like, he was like, and he had a beer next to him, a Russian beer. And I was like, what a fucking flex. I love my Slavic descent, but I recently had a Russian-Ukrainian, um, or I had a Russian roommate move in recently, which is interesting, as you can imagine. She's the most sweetest person I could ever have. I just have to tell her that I'm Ukrainian first, so I will deal with that when we, it comes to it. Maybe we can make peace, we will see. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, Alicia, give it up for her. Oh yeah. So I really, I really don't like that your toes are out right now. I'm not gonna lie. Let the dogs I was, breathe. I, yeah, I, I'm not even Do into feet, it. but I was looking at your feet for about half your set. Yeah, absolutely, it was distracting. I think I'm into feet now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's I, the What's the cutoff here? Am I gonna be on Feet Finder because of this? Now? I think I was into feet. Now I'm not actually. So. Oh fuck you, Austin. Whatever. <laughs> They're pretty no. good feet. No, they're good feet. I lied. Um, is this what my judge? Is this the judging <laughs> now? It's just my feet. <laughs> Your girl's here. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if you're wearing flip flops on the subway, anything that happens on the subway to you is kind of your fault. I think. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think I'm saying sorry? Yeah. Well, yeah. And you're right. Whatever. You should. You should be. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. How so? What was the? What part were you playing? For, uh, what was the? What was the gig? Well, I do have to sign NDAs. Got it. But I will say it's an upcoming pim a ping pong movie. Oh, so, yeah. That's cool. Yes, it's a feature film, so that's all Ooh. I can really say. But that's what's up. Yeah, I I auditioned so for this and I didn't get it actually. So fuck you. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's yeah. just true. So you don't need this at all. Yeah, you're doing really well. <laughs> just gotta flex on everybody. Netflix over here. That's yeah. Not, hell yeah. Um, man, I think. You got a lot of nervous energy. You were very nervous yeah. when you were up there. I could tell that it was kind of like uh, shining through because you were like trying to like rush through and get out all of the things you wanted to say instead of giving more of the things weight. Because I think like the idea of someone only being able to point out that you're Ukrainian because you have a resting bitch face could it's a war in my country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, anyway, I mean, <laughs> la la laughing at that is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's a war in her country. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I get it. Uh, <laughs> Do we do? I know we're paying for it, dude. <laughs> dude I know, like six percent of the <laughs> of the pot goes to Ukraine. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Uh, yeah, man. I think if you kind of either gave like more spacing and pausing to like give the words more weight or change around the words of it, like resting bitch face to find out you're Ukrainian, like is funny, especially from the perspective of like I to you're you're just a white lady to me, you know. Well, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean. You're brown. You're fucking. They, you, they, they all look the fucking same. You know, they're all fucking. They get out the shower. They go outside. <laughs> get out the a shower. little bit wet. You know, it's <laughs> like it's a white. You know, <laughs> it's a white. Uh, but I don't know. You kind of the onset daughter thing and the 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 ten year. So wait, what? Like, what was the logic of that? If you were born in the fifties, you would have a ten year old. I, I was trying to. Exp I, I, we have such little time. My. My onset husband, I was trying I was trying to write more of a joke of that, but like his name was Sergey and like there was a whole interaction with that, but then I was trying to like shorten it for time. But there was like more interactions that we had that day on set and stuff, like just like silly little like conversations we had. Like we tried to make up like fake names at, like for our 
for our family and things like that. Okay, and okay. I but, understand yeah. now. I understand what's happening now. Yeah, it was just, yeah. All right. Also, most annoying boy thing I'm going to do here, backwards push-up, is a dip. <laughs> I just got to <laughs> say that. And that's all no, I'm gonna, yeah, I know I, that's annoying. I know it's annoying. That's just what it is. That's what it is. It's a dip, dude. No such thing as a backwards push-up. It's a dip? Cool. Yup. That's all I'm not. I got to say Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> I got to say it. Also, I'm training at the Blink. So <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to take some classes, mm -hmm. holler at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, oh, you're like a trainer. Uh, yeah. Are you really? No. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it was a joke. Me and Demetrius kind of met at the Blink. We met before, but we started talking at the Blink. We did talk at the Blink. Yeah. yeah. That's my way of saying I work out, too, by the way. That was what that was. Yeah. That's right. I'm there also. Yeah. You can't tell, really, but I am. Dude, bust out backwards push <laughs> Get your beer. What's up? I've still been looking at your feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, stop looking at her feet, dude. I don't know. It's like, we're I, making her uncomfortable, bro. Sorry. Are you uncomfortable? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? Um, your country is going through war. <laughs> <laughs> and that sucks. Yep. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to add, was there a, okay. Um, so I'm going to add a couple points. I'm going to give you a 4.5. Okay. And shout out Ukraine and, uh, and that stuff. 4.5. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go four. Yep. I'm also going to go four. Okay. So. <laughs> but we're rooting for you. Thank you yeah. for coming and doing comedy. Please come back. Do it again. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank All right. You make guys. some noise for her. She gets off hey, stage. Thank you for coming. Are you guys ready for the finals? Yo. Yeah, the oh, finals. Yeah. Oh, no. Austin, pull out that fat wad of $141. Where did I put it? Huh? What do you mean? You lost it? <laughs> How convenient. Yeah. Oh, no. No money. Just pride. Oh, no. I found it. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Money. Money. money! Make noise for money. Capitalism. USA. USA. All right. The way that our finals works are the, the comedians with the lowest scores are going to come on first. We're going to go from lowest to highest. They're going to do one final joke. There's no time limit on the joke, but it's just one joke. So don't go fucking crazy. Do whatever you want to do. Up first, we're going to have Elisa. Then we're going to have Jeffrey. Then we're going to have Sadie. You guys got it? Can you make some noise for me? All right. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Well, without further ado, make some noise for Elisa as she comes to the stage, everybody. All right. Uh, one thing about my face, uh, casting directors <laughs> like to call me ethnically ambiguous. You know, when I go to visit my friends in Astoria, the Yido food truck guys yell out, hey, Greek princess, we like, okay? <laughs> like, nice. Uh, if I'm ever in Little Italy, like this guy yelled out, hey, Belladonna. And when I'm in Williamsburg, I'm a person of color. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Williamsburg is the Colorado of New York. It's very white here. That's my joke. Woo! Make some noise for Elisa as she gets off stage. Keep that energy going for Jeffrey Keller as he comes to the stage, everybody. Give it up for everyone you've seen tonight, you guys. Give it up for them. I, uh... You guys trust me? <laughs> Remember before how I'm like an ally and everything? Remember? Just keep that in mind, okay? Gays. <laughs> uh, I learned this recently. The same buddy I was talking about earlier, he brought me to, uh, he brought me to Equinox for the first time, and I'm, I'm learning a lot about this. Tell, tell me if you guys know this. Gay guys, they go to Equinox. They, <laughs> they like diddling each other in the steam rooms. You guys know about this? It's, it's like one of Equinox's biggest problems, dude. It's like putting away your weights when you're done using them. Gay sex. That's like their big two, dude. Dude, it got so bad that in some Equinoxes in the city, they had to hire security guards to stand inside the men's locker room, outside of the steam rooms. And every 10 minutes, they have to pop their head in there and be like, hand check. You know? They legitimately have to be like, hands up. Don't shoot. Oh, he shot. He shot. He shot. He shot. Dude, it's been making me laugh that that's like a, that's like a new job. You know what I mean? Like, that's like a Brit, like, doctor's been there for a while, lawyer. This is like a new one, you know? Because this guy's, he's like a security guard. He probably has, like, loftier, like, 
Like, he probably wants to be, like, fighting with the Navy SEALs, not wrestling the Equinox Otters. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's also funny that he can't do anything, dude. He can't... He's in a suit. <laughs> They're fucking naked and wet, you know? All he can do is spray them with cold water, you know? And they hate that. They hate the cold. They like it hot. That's why they're in there. They're practicing for when they all go to hell. You know what I'm talking? You guys homophobes in here? Give it up for homophobia, you guys. Bushwick homophobia? Thank you, guys. I'm Jeffrey Keller. All right, hell yeah. Let's keep that energy going for Sadie as she comes to the stage. Yeah. Um, guys, so I have a lot of allergies, which <laughs> is great, uh, which, no, as an adult, it makes me the biggest inconvenience everywhere I go. Like, the only good thing is I've started using it as an excuse to get out of things. I, uh, I was in the middle of hooking up with this guy. You know, I could tell he wanted me to take a little trip south for, like, a little suck, you know? I was, I was not in the mood. Also, I have a deviated septum, so going down there as a severe mouth breather ironically makes me feel like I'm experiencing anaphylactic shock. But you know, so I was just like, hey, before I head down there, I was just wondering, uh, you perchance had any like gluten or peanuts in the last 12 hours? He was like, what? He was like, I so I came me out like a PB and J yesterday. I was like, "Yeah, bummer. I don't think this is gonna work, but it should be totally safe for you to go down on me. I don't think <laughs> be transmitted. Anyways, thanks, guys. Oh uh, yeah, make some noise for Sandy, everybody. Stay on the stage, Jeffrey, Elisa, come join them on the stage. <laughs> All right. So the way this is gonna work, we're gonna go from left to right. You're only gonna clap for the person who you want to take home the $141. You're not gonna clap for anybody else. And when, I got my hair in my mouth. And when you, that person goes, you're gonna go absolutely fucking ape shit because we're not gonna do this shit again. You got it? Can you make some noise for me to make sure you were listening and paying attention? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. If you think Elisa should take home the $141, make some noise for her right now. That's pretty good. If you think Sadie should take home the $141, make some noise for her right now. Woo! Damn, that was also pretty good. If you think Jeffrey should take home the $141, make some noise for him right now. Woo! Damn, hold on. Okay, let's go back and forth between <laughs> Sadie and Jeffrey one more time. If you think Sadie should take home the $141, make some noise for her right now. Yeah! All right, if you think Jeffrey should take home the $141, make some noise for him right now. Dude, it's lit. it's lit. I have no idea. One more, one more, cla guys. Make some. Don't make us think of a like a post judge thing, okay? <laughs> make some fucking noise for who you want to win. Got it? Oh, uh, you do it now. I'm tired of doing. Oh wait, <laughs> what are their names again? Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> I I was checked out. Guys, wait, hold on. We should just count. Let's We're not, no, no, no. We're doing no. noise. I want to do noise. Uh, no, I don't count. dude. Let's count. If you want to vote? There's fucking 15 people in here. If it's the same number each time, we should just vote. Is that wrong? What do, you, what do you think about this? Voting is kind of crazy, but like like asking like going one on one. No, no, I, I think it'll be a hand raise situation. Yeah, a hand raise. Do we, would you would you guys like to vote? Yeah, sure. Yes, we would like to vote. Fine, if you're in the room, you have to vote. Is this a first for the show? This, this is a first, first for the show. For the yeah, it's the same fucking thing. Also, she's right here going crazy in my ear, and it's fucking up my perception. All right, we're gonna vote. Um, guys, raise your hand for who you want to win. And don't raise your hand for you don't want to win, but you have to vote. You have to vote. All right. Only raise vote your one. hand for Sadie right now. Who's Sadie? The girl in the middle. Hello. All right. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sick. Oh, one in the back. Nine. All right. Make some noise for Jeffrey. No, no. Raise right. your hand for Jeffrey. No, no, no. One, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh? I got it. One, two. No, it's three, nine. Four, I'm counting five, nine. Six, seven. <laughs> That's the same fucking number. <laughs> Fuck. Can just put the money so I can leave. Huh? <laughs> no. You, I, no. I, one more joke. No. <laughs> yeah, it's We're gotta not, be one more joke. It's gotta even be split. one more joke, dude. Unless, can, does anyone who voted want to change the vote right now before we do one more joke? It's literally in half. It we was nine and nine. The right thing. That's nine and no, nine. No, we're not splitting the money. That's no, really good. One winner, one loser. We're splitting the money. We're doing Can one more. Yes. Yeah, please. sorry. Guys, make some noise as she gets off the. Actually, oh, oh, who do you vote for? Who do you want to win? Oh, these two. Oh, the tiebreaker. Yeah, Wait. there it is. There we go. Congratulations, you have power. You get to actually, here, wait, here, take the money and then hand it to one of them. <laughs> hey, drum, drum roll, drum roll. Should we do a drum roll? Yeah. 
Wait, hold on. <laughs> Before she does this, I just want to point out they both got 28s. They got the same score. The same number of people voted for them. It is Everything crazy. You guys are both very talented. Right, let's also, do it. let's we'll do a drum roll. Let's do a drum roll. Give it up for Jeffrey, everybody! Right. The winner of the comedy lottery! We do this every Monday. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, have a good night. Hell yeah.